Take a moment, see yourself sitting here, floor beneath your feet, ceiling above you. We're gonna turn ourselves into trees and we could grow our roots, grow them down through the floor, down through any basement below it. And grow our roots down into this earth far beneath us. As we go down, we'll go around some rocks and boulders, but we're always going down and searching for bedrock far beneath us. And when at last we hit that bedrock, we'll spread out, searching around for the pools of water deep beneath the earth. And as we find the pool of water, we'll stick our roots in them and slowly start pulling this water up into our bodies. Waters of chaos, one of the powers of potential. As we breathe each and every breath, we'll pull these waters further and further up our roots, bring them up and up into our bodies. Each breath, they come further up into our feet and into our legs. You can feel the cool, crisp waters move up further into our loins and into our bellies. And as we breathe, we bring them up further and further into our chests and to our heads. And as we breathe, the waters come further and further up until it comes out of our heads and out of our hands and back into the earth. Feel these cool waters running throughout our bodies. Feel them fill us with the powers from below one of the many powers of potential. And now we're going to turn our focus up. We're going to grow our branches up to the ceiling, up through the roofs above us. We grow these branches up high into the sky until they go through the clouds, until we can find that one star directly above our heads. And we're going to reach up to that star Good. pull that light and pull the fires from above down. Fires of order, bring them down into our branches, bring them down into our bodies. Yet another power of potential. We bring these fires down with each and every breath. They start mixing, mixing with the waters as they come into our heads and into our chest. Feel yourself starting to glow with, with the light from above and the water below as you bring them down further into our bellies, into our loins. With each and every breath, we bring the waters down further into our legs and into our feet until we look at ourselves and we can see ourselves glowing, the fires from above mingling with the waters from below. Powers of order and chaos mingling throughout our body. Raw powers of potential. Drink deeply of these powers. Fill your reserves with the order and chaos, fire and water. Bring yourself back to your normal center and add just a little bit more. When you're ready, push the waters that you don't need back into the earth. Push the fires you don't need back up into the sky. And know that if you ever need these powers, they're always just a reach down and a reach up. But for now, push them away and disconnect. And take a deep breath in and out, in and out. And when you're ready, open your eyes, prepare for rights. Our first offering, as always, is for the Earth Mother. You surround us, you support us, you feed us, you shelter us. Without you, we would not be here. Without you, we could not survive. For all that you do for us throughout the years, to you, we give you a token of our gratitude. Say, Earth Mother, accept our offerings. Earth Mother, accept our offerings. We're here to honor the gods, the ancestors, and the land spirits. We're here to ask for their blessings in return. But first, let us hallow our hallows. Mighty well, you reach deep into the earth, 
you have your roots in the lands of the ancestors. To you, we howl you with silver. We say sacred waters flow within us. Sacred waters flow within us. In mighty fire, we burn and transform. You send all we offer up high into the sky, into the lands of the shining ones. To you, we offer this incense. We say sacred fires burn within us. Sacred fires burn within us. A mighty tree, your roots run deep into the earth, to the wells far below, to the lands of the ancestors. Your branches run high into the sky, to the lands of the shining ones. To you, we offer water and incense. We say it's the sacred tree, grow within us. The sacred tree, grow within us. In our groves, each and every one of our groves, the light of the waters, the light of the waters, our groves are made whole and holy. By the light of the waters, the light of the fires, our groves are made whole and holy. By the light of the waters, the light of the fires, our groves are made whole and holy. So be it. So be it. Now, we call to the gatekeepers, to you who have aided us many times in the past, you who we've called under many different names, we call to you tonight to aid us once more. We call to you to watch over us as we do our works, we call to you to open the ways between the worlds, guide us and guard us as we walk your holy roads, we call to you to ask that you take our messages far and wide, that you bring back to us all that we need to hear. For all that we ask of you, gatekeepers, accept our offerings. Gatekeepers, accept our offerings. Now, lords of the ways, join your magic with ours in each and every one of our homes. Let the wells open as gates to the underworld. Let the fires open as gate to the upper worlds. Let the trees be the crossroads between all the worlds open to our spirits and open to our voices. Let the gates be opened. Let the gates be opened. And now, let us call to the ancestors. All of you who have come before us, those of you of our own families, we offer you welcome. To all of you who we have chosen to follow, our inspiration, our mentors, our chosen family, we offer you welcome. And to all of those in this very earth, you were here long before us, we offer you welcome. Come and join us at our fires. Ancestors, accept our offerings. Ancestors, accept our offerings. <sighs> Next, we call to the land spirits. You fur and feather, scale and skin, all of the animal kin, we offer you welcome. Be a leaf and twig, stem and flower, the plant kin, we offer you welcome. And to all the unseen, our house spirits, our land spirits, and all those who watch over us, we offer you welcome. Come and join us by our fires. Land spirits, accept our offerings. Land spirits, accept our offerings. And the shining ones, gods and goddesses of the elder days, you who we call matrons and patrons, those who we worship on a daily basis, we offer you welcome. To all of you of this very land, you who are here before us, we offer you welcome. And to all who watch over us, whether it's known or unknown, we offer you welcome. Come and join us by our fires. Shining ones, accept our offerings. Shining ones, accept our offerings. So now if you have offerings of your own to make, please feel free to make them. Uh, 
news that we heard today of the violence in Philadelphia. Watch over all those in the city. Bring aid and comfort to those who need it. There are no more offerings to be made. Mighty kindred, we have given to you. We ask for blessings to return. We give to you one last time. And with this, we ask that with this sacrifice, you do give us blessings in return. We ask, mighty kindred, accept our sacrifice. Kindreds all, accept our sacrifice. Now we ask what blessings do we receive? The ancestors. The ancestors give us parathro, a dice cup, games of chance, the land spirits. The land spirits give us Burkano, the birch, new beginnings. And the shiny ones, what was you see when you see? Take it was the era, the harvest, cycles. I, I read this quite literally as take a chance, start something new. You will reap the rewards. I think that's a very good omen and very good advice. Do you accept these omens? We do. And with that, mighty kindred we have given to you in my waters and in all of our waters, we ask that you fill them with the omens we have just heard. Fill them with Perthro, the ruin of chance from the ancestors. Fill them with Burkano, the ruin of new beginnings. From the, uh, from the land spirits, fill them with the era, the ruin of the harvest and cycles from the shining ones. Fill our waters with these omens so we may drink them down. Behold the waters of life. Behold the waters of life. And now, let us thank all of those who have aided us. Shining ones, you have aided us once more. You have given us these lovely omens for all that you do for us. Shining ones, we thank you. Shining ones, we thank you. Land spirits, you reward us once more with this beautiful omen. And for all that you do for us, land spirits, we thank you. Land spirits, we thank you. And the ancestors, you have once more given us a wonderful omen. For all that you do for us, ancestors, we thank you. Ancestors, we thank you. And gatekeepers, you have aided us once more. You have watched over us and guarded us. You have taken our messages far and wide. And you've brought back to us what we needed to hear for all that you have done for us. Gatekeepers, we thank you. Gatekeepers, we thank you. And now, gatekeepers, we ask you once more, join your match with ours in each and every one of our homes. Let the wells become but water. Let the fires become but flames. And let the trees become but trees once more. Let the gates be closed. Let the gates be closed. Last but not least, Earth Mother, we once again thank you for all that you have done for us, for the food, for the shelter, for giving us some place to live and some place to thrive. Without you, we would not be here. For that, we always offer to you first 
we always thank you last for all that you do for us earth mother we thank you earth mother we thank you and go now children of earth in wisdom and peace for this right has ended